What's up everyone? So today we'll be looking at the Trivit Stormbox Micro. It's a tiny little speaker that honestly, it would surprise you the sound coming out. All right, so here's what you're gonna get when you open up the box. You're gonna get the Stormbox Micro. You're also gonna get a USB Type-C charging cord. You're gonna get a manual and you're gonna get a thank you card, money back guarantee. Because that's how good the sound is. They're guaranteeing you're gonna get your money back if you don't like it. All right, so let's talk about the structure. So it's a very compact, very small speaker. So you can stick it in your bag and you wouldn't even notice it. It has a very solid construction and it has decent weight to it to keep it in place wherever you set it. On the bottom, you're gonna find four rubber feet for traction so it does not slide around on the table. And on the top, you're gonna find the logo along with some buttons to control the Stormbox Micro. On the bottom, you're also gonna find a strap and this is gonna be used to attach it to different things. So if you wanna attach it to your bike and go for a ride and listen to some music, or if you wanna attach it to your scooter and have some tunes while you're pushing around, you can. You could also attach it to your backpack if you find one of the loops on your backpack and then you can have music wherever you go. Now I did take advantage of this and I strapped it to my scooter and I took it for a test ride and yes I was able to listen to music as I cruised around on my scooter and it stayed secure the entire time and didn't fall off. On the front you're going to find some LED indicator lights which are going to let you know the amount of charge left on the speaker. So the more LEDs that are lit up the more charge you have left. Also in the front of the speaker, you're gonna find your power button and your Bluetooth pairing button. So if you need to set up the Bluetooth, that's where you're gonna go. And right mixed up in the middle between the power button and the Bluetooth button, you're gonna find the mic port. So you can use this to make calls. I'll talk a little bit more about that later when I give you a mic sample. It's USB-C charging, and you're gonna find that port on the right-hand side. It has a hard rubber bottom half, and the top half is fabric. You can get it in two different colors. You can get it in black or orange. And when it comes to water and dust, it's IP67 rating, so it's dust and waterproof. Now, I wouldn't go around leaving it underwater for a long period of time, but if you do drop it in the water, you should be okay. Now, with the battery that comes with this tiny little speaker, it'll give you eight hours of playing time. And when you run out of charge, it'll take you about three and a half hours to fully charge it back and get your eight hours of playing time. Now, this little speaker gives you full control of your music from your device. So you never have to pull out your device or touch your device in order to control the volume or the tracks that you're listening to. You can play, you can pause, you can increase or decrease the volume, you can track forward and you can track back. So pretty much everything you need to enjoy your music. So this little speaker comes with Bluetooth 5.0, the latest technology in Bluetooth. Now it's gonna give you a great distance away from your device and still be able to play music. It's easy to connect and it pairs quickly. And better yet, you can actually connect two devices simultaneously, and it can remember up to eight different devices that are paired to it. And last but not least, you are gonna get stability, so you're not gonna drop out or have any glitching when you're listening to your music. All right, so I said there's a mic on it, and that mic is used for video conferencing and making phone calls. Now, I did test the video conferencing with Zoom, and I found that there was echoing. The people that were on the other end were reporting that there was echoing, and it was hard to hear me. So I alternatively tried it with a phone call, and that seemed to perform perfectly fine. Take a listen to the mic sample right here, and then you can make your own decisions on how well it performs. This is a microphone sample for the Trivit Stormbox Micro Bluetooth speaker. This is how it sounds in an empty room if you wanted to use it to make calls. I'm about two and a half to three feet away from the speaker, so let me know down in the comments if you think this is something you could use to make calls while it sits on your desk. This is a microphone sample for the Trivet Stormbox Micro. I'm about two and a half to three feet away and there's a lot of background noise going on. So you can hear how it sounds, how my voice comes through when there's background noise. Let me know down in the comments if it's still something you can use if there's people talking and there's noise in the background. Let me know if it's something you could use for calls. Now to talk about the sound of this guy, I want to start with the volume. So the volume level could be a little bit higher. Now I understand it is a very small speaker, so given that, it's doing okay, but again, if I'm just listening to music, I would like to have a little bit more volume. 
Now they do offer stereo pairing, so if you have two Stormbox micros, you can pair them together and essentially double your output. And so that may solve the problem, but I only had one to test out. It does come with a TI Texas Instrument Amplifier, and it has built-in X bass technology. So it does help out a little bit for being a tiny little speaker, it does have a little bit of bass, but it all depends on where you set it. Depends on the surface that you set it on. So for some surfaces, you're not gonna get any bass and the sound is gonna be terrible. But if you set it on the perfect surface, what I found was a hard countertop surface, it sounds actually pretty good. Now I don't suggest this for hip hop or any other music that has low end frequency because it just doesn't handle that all that well. Even though it doesn't handle the low end very well, it does sound really good with vocals. So any, any music with a lot of mids and highs will come through really well on this speaker. And for the size of the speaker, it'll handle a middle sized room with decent amount of volume. So overall, for its size and how compact it is, I think it does a great job doing music. Like I said, it could be a little louder, but to be honest with you, if you're in a room, a small or medium room, you're gonna be just fine. And it sounds great. So if you wanna check it out further, right now at the time of this recording, you can get it for $50 on Amazon, but I'll make sure to put a link down in the description. If this review was helpful, then please hit the like button. And remember, if you wanna learn more about awesome gadgets and cool technology, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you wanna see more of my tech recommendations, check out my Amazon storefront, linked in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.